In this video, I'm gonna give you three strategies to train for pure muscle growth, and if they're optimized, you'll completely transform your physique. Most people wanna transform their overall muscle size and appearance, and the first step to achieving that is by implementing strategy number one, which is to train at the ideal hypertrophy volume. Now, it's important to understand that there's a variety of training volumes that you can use, depending on your goals at the gym whether that's for strength training, endurance training, or muscle growth. And before we take a deeper dive, I wanna quickly discuss what volume is referring to in case you're unfamiliar with this term. In weight training, volume is the term used to describe how much work you do, such as the number of repetitions and sets you perform on any given exercise. There's a lot of controversy out there on how much volume is needed for muscle growth, but the American College of Sports Medicine recommends that novice individuals perform one to three sets per exercise of eight to 12 repetitions, while advanced individuals should perform three to six sets per exercise of one to 12 repetitions. And to put it another way, some research suggests that optimal hypertrophy occurs with 10 to 20 sets per muscle group weekly, with experienced lifters sometimes benefiting from higher volumes around 15 to 25 sets per week. But with that being said, there is such a thing as having too high a volume. Studies show potentially negative effects beyond these volumes as excessive sets may lead to overtraining and fatigue rather than growth. Managing volume is essential for recovery and sustained progress, and that all starts with the basics that I just mentioned. Higher volume training compared to lower volume training is going to induce greater muscle damage, which may require longer recovery periods. So keep that in mind. And once again, to prevent overtraining, research emphasizes the importance of balancing volume with other variables like nutrition and rest to prevent muscle degradation rather than growth. If you do plan to perform higher volumes of training in that 15 to 25 sets per week range, be sure to gradually build yourself up to it. This is crucial to prevent any injuries and be sure to monitor your progress along the way. Now we're gonna to jump to strategy number two, which is to optimize training frequency. Training frequency, or how often each muscle group is trained weekly, plays a crucial role in muscle growth. This goes hand in hand with training volume, but many people are unsure how many times you should go to the gym and how many times a week you should train each muscle group. Most studies support training each muscle group twice per week as optimal for muscle growth, especially for those who already train consistently. Hitting each muscle group multiple times a week increases the anabolic or muscle building processes while allowing for effective recovery between sessions. For example, research has found that those who train each muscle group twice a week have more significant hypertrophy or muscle growth than those who only train once weekly, even if the total weekly volume is the same. Frequency is also important because it allows you to distribute the volume throughout the week. This prevents any excessive fatigue in a session and also allows you to continuously perform an exercise with good form. In this approach, an increase in the frequency can be particularly beneficial for advanced lifters who may benefit from shorter, more frequent sessions to maintain a high quality workload. Now there isn't any gold standard on how many times you need to go to the gym to see muscle growth, but however many times you need to go to the gym to hit that 10 to 20 sets per week per muscle group is gonna be the goal. Now, before we jump into the third and final strategy, if you're enjoying the video so far, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more fitness videos and content just like this. According to YouTube analytics, only 10% of those who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so please bring that number up. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Now for the third and final strategy of this video, we need to optimize our training intensity. Intensity is defined as the percentage of the maximum weight or one rep max that a lifter can use. When we take a look at what the research has to say on the ideal intensity for hypertrophy, the general consensus is that you should work at moderate intensity or around 60 to 85% of your one rep max, where six to 12 reps can be completed before fatigue sets in. This range appears ideal because it balances the recruitment of slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibers, basically encompassing every muscle. And this maximizes both mechanical tension and time under tension, which are both essential for muscle growth. It's important to push yourself because pushing close to muscle failure is essential for full recruitment of muscle fibers. Recent literature emphasizes the need for sets to be close to failure, but not necessarily at failure every time, as training to failure too frequently can increase your risk of injury and hinder recovery. And if you do that, you'll be seeing me in the PT clinic. Instead, studies suggest working within one to two reps of failure where you can achieve similar muscle growth benefit while preserving long-term joint and muscle health. This approach ensures that training intensity remains challenging without compromising your recovery. Now to summarize the key takeaways from this video, muscle growth requires optimization of volume, frequency, and intensity. By aiming at moderate to high volumes, training each muscle group twice a week and maintaining a challenging but sustainable intensity level, you can effectively stimulate muscle growth while minimizing the risk associated with overtraining and fatigue. Bodybuilding involves many elements, but starting with these three strategies and fine tuning them is the best place to start. And if you're truly serious about getting the body of your dreams, you need to check out this video now if you wanna get a six pack. The six pack is the cornerstone to an optimal physique, so check out this video now.